Hello vinyl community. I hope everyone's doing well. Well, I'm working on a project right now. My vinyl room's kind of a mess because uh, of this project going on. But it, it came time to really get my uh, vinyl records organized because I've been buying them faster than I can organize them. So I decided just to stop and uh, get them all organized and nicely tab and I'm making this video of, of uh, to share with the vinyl community of a tabbing idea that I had got. And I'm already, I'm up to the uh, F's. And I thought I'd go ahead and make the video now just to get it out there. Um, as you see, uh, you know, I noticed most uh, vinyl videos, you see the shelves in back and sometimes there's tabs, some, uh, most of the times they're not. Uh, so I, I came up with an idea to uh, uh, tab the vinyl record. So I'm going to uh, show you what I have right now. As you can see, um, I have a number of them tabbed, but I'm going to pull one out. Let me uh, get this here. And I'll show you what I did. I pulled this one out and put a bookmark in it. It's kind of hard to do this and... Uh, operate the camera too. Um, put it right here. What I did was uh, took some cardboard. I found some cardboard there they were throwing out and on the computer and you have to have some computer skills with uh, the graphics and all that with Word. Um, we get the C's going right there and those are all the artists I have under C uh, the cars Chicago Eric Clapton and the bands he was in Elvis Costello CCR and Crosby still Nash and Young and so I created this on the computer and this serves two purposes you can create a great database for your albums and create some very attractive tabs. So uh, that's what I did. And to make it more eye-catching, I went on the web and got logos of the band, pictures. And that's a neat one of CCR, like a promotional concert uh, uh, poster. And I put all the, uh, uh, the, the titles, the cars, Eric Clapton, on, on the uh, sheet there. And cut the uh, cardboard according to size. And used some um, the, um, the, uh, paper glue. And you can see on the back where I did a fold there, swung it around. And I got myself a board. Now, I know so as I get more into the alphabet, uh, there'll be some alphabets which uh, I can't fit every artist. So what I'm going to do is just like um, uh, G. I have a lot of G's, artists, you know, with the name G. So I can just uh, create another board for it. So, you know, to have like G continue. So that's uh, basically my idea. And when, when I create these, uh, this is the cool part, is I, you know, I save each alphabet. Like if I just finish up C, I save C, then go back and retrieve it and save it as a D. That way I have um, a ready-made template with, with uh, the uh, you know, the font already chosen. You can go from C to D. You already have the font. You don't have to do that. So you just got to go on the web, get the graphics, and, you know, type in your stuff, which is cool. Um, one thing I have done also, still Crabby Nash and sometimes Young, as I called it, and we have a group with members that have solo uh, um, 
um, records, and you have maybe one or two, then I, as I have here, Stephen Stills and then Crosby's Nash, um, you know, I'll include that also. I'll let you look at the lettering. Pretty cool. Now, if I had like a, a bunch of uh, Stephen Stills, you know, like five of his albums, then he would go on a separate tab. But if I only have one or two, you know, it will be grouped in there with that. Uh, with Crosby, Stills, Nash, and sometimes Young. So we'll insert this back in here. And again, I'm trying to operate the camera on my own. I don't have a camera person. Got it back in there. I take the, uh, the marker out. And what, what's so cool is you can put them all the way in there, pull them out a little bit, as much as you want and some people you know will have the alphabet like like D and the vinyl D's in the back I, I, I got it the reverse D and then all of the D's right there F I have to insert uh, I already got an E made up and I'm going to show you how I put this together um, the A's and I just continued another piece of paper there but I'm not going to do that for another one now you may ask well Lawrence you know I get some new vinyl and you know I have to go through the trouble of recreating the tabs well no you don't what you do like I said you save it you can go in if it's saved and do any updates so you know F if I got some more I, I don't know artists F you know um, Mr. Frank I, I'm just can't think of anything now if I got a couple of his LPs and he's not on the tab I can go into a uh, computer F and uh, insert them in there print out a new um, sheet take take the uh, sheet that's on the tab there out and uh, put the new one in it's just that simple and it this takes a little time to get it started but once you do uh, it, you have something nice attractive uh, tabs and with the graphics too, quick identification I pull this one out here boy I got Fleetwood Mac uh, Fleetwood Mac Flock of Seagulls Foreigner Peter Frampton and as I was talking uh, Fleetwood Mac and I have some solo albums by members so that's that's pretty cool and like I said you can if you if I get more Fleetwood Mac albums and I need to update you know, I just pull it up on the computer, type all it in, line it up, and all that. Print out a new sheet. I could take this one off. Uh, I have tape along the lines here. And um, I, I would imagine if, if I change it like three or four times, I have to get a new piece of cardboard. So um, we'll put F back. E goes in the back here. I, I, I got that made up. Um, also, the fix. I forgot to put them on the tab. So what I did was I took the board, wrote on there the fix. And that tells me when I update this piece of uh, the tab here, I'll make uh, one for the fix. Pretty cool. So I just made up my mind that I was going to just take some time to get all of my albums shelf and organize. And then when I buy them in the future, I can, um, um, I have a nice organized way to put them in instead of just leaving them around. Now, there are some artists like, you know, Elton John, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, as we come down um here i will um make separate tabs for them 
Um, like, uh, you know, the Beatles is not B. They'll be down here with their own separate tabbing system along with their solo album. Same with the Rolling Stones. Also, I have different categories down here. Uh, th this is what I call my good time 1960s uh, uh, type of music. The Mamas and Papas, Motown, um, Nancy Sinatra, Billy, Billy Joe, uh, The Rascals. So, you know, that kind of uh, top 40s, 60s uh, stuff and then, and then 70s. Uh, down here, I have the easy listening, the classic vocals of Frank Sinatra, Peggy Lee, jazz albums down there. So I'll we'll categorize them accordingly and use the, incorporating the same system. Um, like to end this video, just to do a, a, a quick demonstration. Uh, again, I was fortunate enough to find all this uh, really nice cardboard. Um, it was part of a looks like it was lining for packages and cardboard's cheap you can find it anywhere and I was fortunate enough to find this because it's all uniform the same thickness and you don't want it to be too thick but not really thin this is just right just right so I take my sheets and when I did my cut I have a template right here. This is it. So it's just taking this template, lining it, line, lining it up properly. You know, doing your measurements and getting a cut, or you can do this. You can take one of these out. make your markings which I'm going to do I'm going to make the markings and, and cut bear with me please I'm not for the same time I'm not going to mark it I was just going to do my cut which is pretty cool Okay, so you know, I've, I've cut a piece of the uh, cardboard right there. And I'll just take my sheet there and kind of, uh, I bring it up like that. And do you want to like do a fold? Oh, one other thing. The areas where I did the cutting here, you can see it's rough. So on the side where I didn't cut, I keep that visible, the visible where you could see it. So you don't have all that roughness and your cut right there showing you'll have a nice clean edge along there if you do it that way you just uh print out your sheet plop it up there there and you do a nice fold so the edge will go around to the other side you can either use that uh, uh that glue that's on a tube and uh, or, or or even tape so um next time uh i'll have all of my records organized categorized with a nice visual and uh, the visual is really cool because you know i pulled this one out automatically we're in the d's we got charlie daniels dire straits the eagles the doors bob dylan and a lot of times i'll try to use their their band's logo um Bad Company, Boston, Blue Oyster Cult, David Bowie, Bot and Turn Overdrive, Bad Company, Aerosmith. Anyway, you all got the idea. 
So I welcome your comments. Um, my goal is to eventually buy those tabs they have at record stores um, with, with the uh, names of the bands, but those are really expensive. And one day I hope to be rich enough to get those and uh, um, use those instead. But the cardboard will do for now. And one day, Harry Belafonte, Calypso, Harry will have a place for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I really wish uh, you'll comment on, on this idea and all that. And I'll make a follow-up video once it's all done and to uh, show you. Um, thank you so much. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.